Continue our crime watch for you tonight. A business is in Pueblo frustrated after someone set fire inside a building just off the Riverwalk over the weekend. Police believe this was intentionally set. They are investigating tonight. You saw Stanley Chuck live right now. You spoke with these business owners and uh, so what was their reaction to this? And it's already been a difficult time for them so far this year. Well, one of the words used was heartbroken. 1129 right now would usually be serving people dinner and drinks, but instead they're one of the businesses that have shut down, having to assess all of the damages from the fire. And this comes just after local businesses were beginning to rebound from the effects of COVID-19. So sad. I mean, it's just been the last couple of weeks that we got all of our staff back getting some hours again. It wasn't long ago that 1129 Spirits and Eatery was celebrating as one of the first restaurants in Pueblo to become five star certified. We were really excited to get everyone back and going after going through all these obstacles through the pandemic. And now with this happening, it's just one more thing. Now, after a fire broke out in the building and sprinklers flooded the restaurant, bar manager Kayla Perry and the rest of the staff are faced with yet another challenge. There is water everywhere, all the tables, all of our liquor bottles, all the kitchen. The walls are completely soaked. The Pueblo Police Department believes the fire was intentionally set in another office space. But the real victims are business owners like Rebecca Vandover. I got a call from the police around 1.20 in the morning. There was a fire. They were cleaning up flooding and to come see if my equipment was still salvageable and if everything was working. Moving home to Pueblo from New York during the pandemic, Vandover's business, Energyro Studio, has only been open for a couple of weeks. I'm dealing with uncertainty because I am so new as a business. Do I continue with this? Um, do I just kind of give up right now because it's already been such a struggle? But one thing the neighboring businesses have in common is their resilience. Through all these things, we just learn to like kind of buckle down and we will get through it because this is our livelihood. This is our family. I know people have been discouraged, so hopefully me like starting something new will give other people hope that like it's going to revive. And the Pueblo Police Department says they still don't have security footage from the night of the fire, so they don't have any suspects. But if you have any tips, they said they would love to hear from you. We'll have more information about this investigation and how you can help these businesses over on our website, koaa.com. Always watching out for you, Pueblo. Natalie Chuck, News 5.